Welcome back at 723. We're just two days away from the Baseball Hall of Fame induction. It is a big weekend for the Braves. Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox, and Bobby Cox are all a part of the class of 2014. And good days, Ron Gant joins us live from Cooperstown, New York, where the excitement is certainly building. Ron? Hey, guys, listen, again, I'm so excited, but we're, again, we're at the uh, Clark Sports uh, Center here in Cooperstown, New York, and I had a chance to sit down with my, one of my former teammates, and he talked about another love in his life, which wasn't baseball. It could very well have been a Hall of Fame for a different sport. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, no, I started out like most kids up there, young, four or five years old, learning how to play hockey, um, and, and went down that road, and that was kind of my thing, and really didn't start playing Little League Baseball until I was seven or eight years old, so uh, which nowadays seems like an awful late start. I think uh, much of my demeanor on the mound um, came from playing hockey. It was a big part of my stubbornness. It was a big part of my um, kind of how I went about it and just staying the course. I think there was a big carryover. You relied on a, a lot on command and control. How did you, I mean, you were, again, playing behind you all those years, I thought you were one of the pitchers that had the best control out of any pitcher maybe that has ever taken the mound. How did that come about? How did you get that kind of command and control? It came out of necessity um, and a lot of hard work, you know. I mean, when I first came to the big leagues, um, you know, and you know, you played with me in the minor leagues, I didn't have that kind of command in the minor leagues. It was more, it was more stuff in the minor leagues. Um, you know, as you get through the chain, Stuff's only going to carry you so far. You know, we played on some, some really good ball clubs. You ended up winning the World Series in 95. Uh, would you say that was your the best moment in your career, or do you have like a personal moment that was the best? No, I think that's the best game I've ever pitched given the circumstances. Um, you know, I, I could maybe look at some other games from a, a technical standpoint in terms of um, execution of pitches, execution of a game plan and think, okay, you know, that was pretty good too, you know. But nothing compares to that moment in a World Series, you know, to have that kind of a game in that setting, um, knowing what it meant uh, with everything that was on the line. I mean, that, that, that setting and, and what it was elevates that game instantly to being the best game that I've ever pitched. But yeah, I had a, I had a few other good ones along the way. And as you guys know, that game six in 1995 was uh, the game of his life and the, uh, the game, uh, you know, for the Atlanta Braves history going on to win the World Series. I had a couple uh, shining moments myself against Tom Glavin uh, in 1996 uh, in the NLCS. Uh, we, uh, we ended up playing the Braves in the NLCS and uh, I hit a couple home runs off him in, in one game. And uh, he always gives me grief about it because I don't ever let him live it down. But uh, again, it was, it's an honor uh, you know, to be his teammate. And he summed it up right there, one of the best pitchers to ever take the mound. All right, Ron, awesome stuff. And Tom Glavin, definitely one of the good ones. Thanks a lot. Your time.